in this video, I'm going to talk about using command line parameters or command line arguments in a Java program. So for example, what are command line parameters? Well, command line parameters are if you open a command line prompt, either a terminal in a Mac or Linux or PowerShell or CMD or whatever in a, in a PC, there are many you will have access to what we call the command line. There's videos for that and they will be linked at the end of this video. So you can create, a, you can say programs, for example, for example, you can say Java, right? And if you just type the word Java in there and it's well configured, you're gonna get some output. That's what the program Java does, right? It gives you the output here and it tells you, well, in order to use Java, <clears throat> you might use Java and then give some op optional parameters and then a class to run and stuff like that. So Java, you actually give certain parameters to the program Java, right? You can, for example, say Java uh, minus minus and then the word version in here. And then it tells you what version of Java you're running, right? It gives you like some information about your Java installation. So that is one program, Java, for example, and then an argument or a parameter that you give it through the command line. Here's another program for you, clear. Clear is actually clear is the command line. Now, how do we <clears throat> process these things that we give to programs? How, how can we deal with them? So in a Java class, in this case, the class is called test CMD, you usually have this method. At least one of your classes should have this one, public, static, void, main, and then you have a string array and you usually call this args, right? Well, Let's print these args, shall we? Let's do. Let's create a little, a little uh, for loop here, a little for loop. I'm gonna use uh, old style for loop for this one. There's another for loop that you can uh, easily use to print arrays. But for now, we're gonna use a for loop. I'm gonna assume this class is <coughs> mostly uh, beginner programmers, so. I'm going to use for int i equals zero, i is less than args dot length. So by the way, I assume you know the basics of one dimensional arrays. In a for loop, I'm going to system dot out dot print line args sub i. All right, so this is our program. You can compile it through here or you can actually compile it through the command line. And you can say, I'm, I'm in the same directory as my program. You can say Java C test CMD dot Java. That will actually compile this program. It's the same as pushing the compile in, the, in your IDE of preference. I'm using a very simple IDE because I don't want to complicate you with guys with the nuances of your own IDE. This is a very simple one. Okay, we've compiled uh, if I call this program Java C and I pass this parameter, that actually compiles a Java program. Now, if I say Java, that's the Java, uh, that's another program. It's the, and I say test CMD, that's going to pass the class, the compiled class CMD through the uh, JVM and run it. So let's see what happens. Nothing prints. Let's do the same thing again and let's pass some parameters. Uh, I am, oops, I am Sam123. Now look at this. It printed I am Sam123. So what happens here is that Java is one program, but then testCMD is interpreted by Java, and everything that happens after testCMD is considered a command line argument and is automatically read into this string array called args. That tells you a bunch of things. First that all of these arguments are strings no matter no matter whether I for example in the command line here I type three numbers but to Java they come in as strings. So if I want the numbers I would have to cast them. So let's do a little program this test command let's have it uh, oh and if you pass a parameter for example it's a file name you can use that file name to open the file or do whatever you want with the file. Let's have this um, this program be something that adds two numbers, for example. Okay, so I know that two parameters are coming, number one and number two. So I'm gonna have, let's say that they're integers. So integer A is going to be 
rx sub zero, the first parameter, and integer b is going to be rx sub one, the second parameter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say system dot out dot print line uh, print line a plus b. All right, and I save it, and I'm going to compile this. I'm going to compile it from the IDE this time, but I could have done the same thing. I'm compiling it through the IDE because I want you to see the errors. The problem here is that arc sub zero is a string, and I cannot put it into an int. So what I need to do is to cast it, or to do, uh, for example, uh, uh, there's so many ways to do this, right? But one way that I can do it is like this. Uh, I'm going to do this. New integer that and then the other one it's going to be new integer this all right I'm going to save this and compile and now it's compiling so I actually created with the, the wrapper class I got the two parameters into a and b and I'm supposed to print the sum let's see if this works from the command line so if I say Java test CMD and then three and two I should have a five right there, right? Now, when I, when you're using command line arguments and you try to run from your IDE, you're gonna get an error because the IDE is not passing any, any command line parameters. I got, in this case, Java array index out of bounds because I'm trying to use elements of an array that has no elements. So if I wanna run with command line arguments, I better run them from the command line. Now, what happens if in the command line, for example, I, instead of giving two numbers, I give one? Well, I'm going to get the same thing. It didn't find element number one because there's only one element, which means zero. So it didn't find index one, right? It's out of range. It's out of bounds. So one thing that is very useful to do when you're working with arguments is to, to count, put some sort of like... Uh, a little bit of a, of a barrier of entry here where you can say if args.length for example is less than 2 is uh, it's less than 2 because you need two parameters at least right then what you're going then, then you're going to say for example system dot out print line something useful for example usage oops usage um, Java test CMD number one, number two, for example. Right? That's what you're going to print. Otherwise, else, okay, you can do this. Okay? So in this case, I'm going to compile and I'm going to run in the command line. And if I pass, for example, one parameter only, Java test CMD three, you will see that I get my little message. If I pass two parameters, I actually get my result, right? And if I have passed more parameters just because of how I did it, I will get the sum of the first two. This is the same thing that the Java program does. If I don't pass any parameters, it just displays a help message, right? So it's common practice to filter your parameters and display a common message if they warrant it. Uh, I hope this has shown you two things. First, what is this thing for when you're beginning programming, uh, beginning programming in Java? And also how to use uh, a Java program with parameters from the command line.